Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Top Shot video. In this one, going to make some major updates here based on these release notes that Top Shot put out. So if you didn't see the release notes, definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for this video. But some important stuff and probably this news will influence a lot of buys here and a lot of prices. So excited to look into some of these moments that could be worth a lot more based on this news. So let's get right into it. I mean, first update, obviously they have this latest sales up here. I don't know how helpful this is. I guess it's just kind of cool to see. And then you can click here and you can see like 100, maybe like 50 of the latest sales. Don't really know what to do with that, but it's kind of cool. Uh, besides that, just have a lot of $6.35K moments. It seems like half, I don't know, maybe like half of the 35Ks are five or six dollars with a couple being five. I actually picked up a couple at 35K. I actually got a Brogdon and a Capella for $5 each. And it's a strategy that I talked about in a previous video of picking up 35Ks when they're pretty low. And I'll get more into that in this video, but you can just see a ton of $6 moments. I mean, you can keep scrolling. There's probably like 40 more that are $6. And then I guess it's kind of interesting to see the tier up of players once they hit $7. But I mean, you have guys like DeRozan, Capella, Draymond, like there's a lot of good $6 guys. And then $7 guys, I guess, are a little tier above. I mean, like you could put DeRozan up there, but like Bam and Bogdan, nice young player, Van Vliet, Conley, Robinson, another young guy. So, so interesting how low these 35Ks are. But let's get into some of these release notes. So if you don't follow El Dumbo TS on Twitter, he's a pretty good follow, and he – Post a lot of good content. So his pinned tweet is the release notes from yesterday. And if you didn't watch this little clip, it's pretty interesting. They talk about Top Shot with literally zero dollars into their marketing. I've been wondering about their marketing because I haven't seen any retargeting ads or anything, but pretty interesting little clip here to check out as well. But let's check out these release notes. So the biggest release notes it uh, point in the release notes is something I talked about also in a previous video but they officially announced that the series one moments held by NBA Top Shot only the Western Conference Finals and Eastern Conference Finals are getting burned and the others were going to be released so they're releasing more series one moments I would guess in packs which is super exciting for people that got into Top Shot when Series 2 was already released. We didn't have a chance to get any Series 1s in packs, so that's super cool news. And let's just talk right now about what that means. So if we come over here and we could filter by just the Western Conference, and we're going to have to filter this and look at these on three different sites. It's kind of cumbersome here, but we'll get through it. So Let's just check out Jeremy Grant. Four fifty out of four hundred fifty dollars for his Western Conference Finals moment, and then let's come over to Evaluate Dot Market, and let's pull up the same moment here, and then let's also pull it up here on. I already have it up on Add More Fun, so you could filter by set name. So. What this basically means, if we come back over here to evaluate, is 504 of these moments are owned out of 999, and basically 486 are not minted yet. So what that means is no one has these, they aren't released, and they're going to be burning them. So essentially, these are all gonna disappear, and this is gonna go down the circulation is going to go down to 504. So that just means if you're holding this before it gets burned, the value is going to go way up. I I, I mean, in theory. Um, 
And we can check out if we've seen any movement on these since the announcement yesterday. And from what I've seen, we haven't really seen any so far. So let's check out Jeremy Grant on Add More Funds to get an idea of the movement on this moment. So from yesterday afternoon, it was like 440 and then it actually dipped to 400 and now it's back at 450 over a month. Basically all of April, it's been 400, 450. So we haven't seen a price increase on this. It's lowest is 379. I, it seems like these Western Conference Finals and Eastern Conference Finals are gonna be great buys once they burn the rest of these moments that aren't minted yet. Um, I'm actually very surprised based on this news that we haven't seen these prices go up at all. I mean, we can check some other ones. Check out Caruso. Basically the same thing. Maybe has jumped a little bit. It's up at 590. That's the highest price since April 3rd. But I mean, these haven't moved like I was expecting once they actually officially announced this news. So I'm thinking if you have money to spend four or $500 on some of these moments, it seems like a pretty good buy with the news that they're burning these. But let's check out some like better players and see if their prices have moved. Like Jokic, Western Conference Finals, same thing, hasn't moved. 1320 that's the same price it was back in March even. So... Kind of weird, to be honest, but I don't have the money to buy a $1,300 moment. Um, but if you did, seems like good buys in my opinion. And if you wanted to find the best one, I would go through. But let's try to find one that's lower than 506 So 520 so there's going to be more. So the LE is going to be more on crew. So basically the total end owned is going to go to the LE circulation. Dwight Howard's also 520. I mean, I, I bet you could find one that maybe is in the 300s or 400s. And it's going to make it even more rare once they do burn them. I haven't looked through these yet, though. 495. So this one's pretty low. I think it's the lowest I've seen out of like five or six. So that just makes it that much more rare um, because they're burning over half of these on this specific moment. So the second part of this is let's talk about what they're going to be re-releasing. So it's going to be, so what they're going to be re-releasing is series one moments. They didn't say exactly how they're going to do it. If it's going to be packs, um, if it's going to be base set packs with only commons or how they're going to do it but basically if you pull up a series one i guess back in the day this made this moment was from 2019 their packs didn't sell out and then they just like canceled sales of packs i'm assuming i wasn't around for that but basically like this harden i just pulled up a random series one moment so the circulation is 1012 le only 837 are owned, 171 haven't been created yet. So basically, these would be a candidate to be re-released into packs um, is what they're saying here. So this is going for $1,200. I mean, you can get some really dope ones in here. And this is just a base. I think it's just a common, common base. Yeah, common James Harden. So if they're, if they're going to be selling common packs, we can come back here again. Another thing they mention, prices for packs is going to be about the same. Commons, 10 to $30. Rares, 100 to $350. And legendaries, around 1000 Not exact numbers, but an idea. So even if the common pack for these Series 1 re-releases is 30 bucks, you have the opportunity to pull a 1200 Harden here and there's 171 of them that they could put back into packs let's just check out another I'm trying to think of like an average player here let's just scroll that would have a 
a Series 1 moment. Let's just t- take out Jared Allen and see if any of his Series 1, like a pretty average player. Yeah, again, so this Jared Allen out of 4,000, it's 90 bucks, and there's still 812 of them to be released that could be thrown into packs. So a lot of these Series 1 are like that with a lot not minted. And then if probably if we go to like someone that I know would have most of theirs minted already would be like this first moment. Probably a lot of these 12K first moments have most of theirs minted. So twenty only 28 out of 12,000 haven't been minted. So a lot of the series ones are a lot bigger percentage haven't been minted. So super excited. Hopefully we can get in on some of those series one packs. I mean, even a base common pack would be would be sick that jared allen i don't think i pointed it out but it was 90 bucks and i think that was his first moment so on the platform so a lot of good value would be opening up there the only other announcements uh that i thought were interesting is uh right here the pre-order packs expect them by april 16th at the latest and then they said they're going to continue to do some of those like Mike Conley moments where you talk over it or they could do something with like a rapper uh, like Miles Bridges. I know he's a pretty good rapper and some other guys, Dame Lillard, Lonzo Ball could like rap over their moment, which would be pretty sick. Something like that. I don't know. I kind of just made that up, but they said musicians um, and artists. I don't know, Willie Colley Stein is a painter, so he could maybe paint his moment. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, and last thing before I close out this video is something I mentioned in the beginning, which I'm just getting back to now. Forgot I mentioned it. But basically the idea, actually we're going to come back here, is that they said this last bullet point, no word on the requirements for next legendary pack drop but can expect future rare legendary pack drops to continue to be favoring real collectors. So that means that you're most likely going to have to have some moments and they're probably going to look at even having more than three, which last time when they had that requirement, people were scooping up the cheapest moments on the platform, which were the 35 Ks and the prices got up to $23, I think at peak and and the bottom price of anything on the platform was $23. So that's a reason to come back and scoop up these $6 moments. You can even wait for them to get to five, which there's no at five right now, but I picked up a couple at five, like I said earlier, and waiting for a legendary pack drop announcement where you have to have maybe like even five moments in your collection. It could be like 10, who knows? If it's 10, we would see these probably go maybe like the 30 bucks, not even kidding. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about that. Um, but it, I think a semi good strategy is to stack these really low price 35 Ks. When you can get them at five or four bucks, I try to pick up a couple snipes at like four bucks when everyone was selling their Cool Cows Challenge 35Ks, but couldn't get any for for four. I got a couple at five and should be able to just flip those for like at least 20 bucks. Um, so I'm still sticking with that strategy. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super exciting news that they're going to be re releasing some of the series ones. So go check out what some of these series ones that you think you would like in a new pack and i'll see you guys in another video another day another beer